I call you all the royal family of music in Fiji because I think that's what you all are. Now, what brought you together, Tui Ravai and the freelancers? Actually, we have a common interest in uh, playing jazz. And all I had to do was find a venue so we can perform there. What kind of jazz do you play? Um, well, from uh, bebop to uh, contemporary. Contemporary is uh, Latin and Latin jazz and blues and all that. Okay. Michelle, how do you feel? Because there's not many jazz female singers in the country. <clears throat> Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I wish there were because I'd like to catch up with them and, and you know, I need to feed off them as well. But that's okay because I've only, only got here last week and, um, you know, I've been able to do that in Sydney. But I'd like to build it up and sort of find a few other young women who'd be interested in singing, or guys, and encourage them to pursue jazz, you know, because that helps me as well. Nico, the bass has never ever been an outstanding instrument. It's always been a backup, it's been a rhythm, it's been a support for any group in Fiji. But you seem to have highlighted it, and it's not unusual for people to call you Abraham Laboriel of Fiji. <laughs> how do you feel that, how did you nurture that? Well, I'm, uh, I'd say it's just a band. Without the rest of the game, you cannot do anything. And it's the feel that, that uh, it's just the feeling that's there. It's really to come, you just go in. Like you said, the bass has been always in the background. But in jazz, you can we can all stop and so we start. It's busy. Michael, you've done the same thing with the saxophone as well. You've uh, brought it out of uh, wherever it's been hiding all these years. I remember the Rumbaka boys uh, uh, playing with sax. And you've just highlighted it, made it uh, one of the main instruments as well. Thank you. It's, it's my pleasure. Yeah, to go away and get collect, you know, some of the things to come back here for. You know, it's, uh, it's something you have to give back. You know, in any creative field you're in, you have to give something back. You know, so I'm glad that I'm doing that. Are you following a certain master, or is it is the master Michael Preston himself? No masters. Uh, you talk about masters. There's many, many masters. Mm -hmm. But the very important thing about being a musician uh, is that you have to create your own thing. You can learn from other masters and you go along, you know, like uh, people that you admire along the way, but you kind of have to create your own sound, which is very important. We're very lucky in Suva. <coughs> we keep talking about traps because that is the main headquarters for this sound. Mm -hmm. How about taking it to the rest of Fiji so that we can share or they can share you? Well, that's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to break into the western side of Fiji. Um, uh, mainly Nandi, you know, being, being, you know, like the central part of, of uh, the western side. And we're having performances there that we like a lot of people to come to, you know, and share the music with us. Thank you very much for coming in and speaking with us tonight, and we wish you all the best with your gigs here at Traps in Suva. And all you western siders, two dates for you to keep an eye out for, the 29th and the 30th of March at the Macamba Hotel in Nandi. Pure, unadulterated music and jazz with Tui Ravai and the freelancers.